After you've obtained a hosting account, as described in the last video, you're going to need to set up name servers so that you can then upload your website to the hosting account. So to do this, you need to go back to your GoDaddy account or the account wherever you registered your domain name. So go to GoDaddy.com if that's where you registered your domain and log in. And you can see I've already logged in to my GoDaddy account and I'm going to set up the name servers for the PizzaDeliveriesecrets.com website. So from the main screen, I have selected, let me do this again for you so you can see it, Manage Domains. And then I go down and click on PizzaDeliveriesecrets.com. Now, you may be wondering what the name servers are. And when you set up your account, by default, when you set up a, a register of a domain, by default, it already gives you these name servers. These are the name servers on GoDaddy.com. Now, when you registered for your hosting account, you should have gotten an email that looked something like this. You see here the domain name is PizzaDeliveriesecrets.com. It has an IP address, which I'll explain in a minute. It has your username and password. Here I've just X those out so that no one else uh, is able to log into my domain name. And it'll say name server one, name server two. So here it's name server 10.anyservers.com and name server 11.anyservers.com. So by setting the name servers in the GoDaddy account, by replacing these park 15 and park 16 secureserver.net name servers with these name servers, it allows when people type in www.pizzadeliverysecrets.com it will go and look at my hosting account through this IP address and the way it does that is by looking at nameserver10.anyservers.com and nameserver11.anyservers.com so you don't really have to understand how this works you just need to know that before someone's going to type in www.pizzadeliverysecrets.com I'm going to have to go in and change my name servers in the GoDaddy account. So I'm about to do that. So here, let me copy nameserver10.anyservers.com. Let me copy that. Let me go to GoDaddy. And where it says name server summary, it says click here to see details or to modify. And make sure your domain name is unlocked when you do this because if it's locked, it's not going to let you make the changes. So name server one, I want to highlight this, delete it. And I want to go in here and right click and hit paste and you'll see now that it says name server 10.anyservers.com then I want to go back here and I want to highlight name server 11.anyservers.com I want to copy again I want to go into here and I want to get rid of this park.16.secureserver.net delete that right click in here hit paste now it says name server 10.anyservers.com name server 11.anyservers.com and I want to hear I want to select save changes. Okay, so now it says your changes have been submitted. You probably can't read this, so let me read it to you. Changes to a domain's name servers can take up to 48 hours to propagate. This means your hosting or other domain features will not work during this propagation time. Usually it's about 24 hours, but they say it takes up to 48 hours. And what this means is when you type in www. we'll just use pizzadeliverysecrets.com for instance there's a bunch of computers around the world that know to go and look at our name servers at name server 10 and name server 11. any servers.com but when godaddy submits those changes all the computers around the world that know to look at those name servers they need to be updated and it usually takes about 48 hours so when you first set up a domain for the first 48 hours certain certain people from different parts of the world are going to be able to go to your website and, and certain people won't. They're going to go to the old name servers. So after about 48 hours, you can assume that everyone in the entire world is going to, when they type in www. whatever domain name you registered .com, or in this case, pizzadeliverysecrets.com, after 48 hours, everybody's going to go there. Now, if you've just changed DNS, now when I say change DNS, I'm talking about the name servers that we just changed. It's also called DNS. 
You can go and upload the site right away, but it may be up to 48 hours before you can type in www.pizzadeliverysecrets.com and see anything there. So before those 48 hours are up, if you type in pizzadeliverysecrets.com and it doesn't go anywhere or it goes to an old version of the site, well that's because the DNS name server change hasn't taken effect. So what you can do to view the site is you can go to this IP address and you can view the site to make sure that it's been uploaded. So I'm going to go ahead in the next video and upload our website that we've been working on to this account and we'll be able to access it through this IP address. And then I'm going to wait 48 hours and I'm going to come back and show you that we can type in pizzadeliverysecrets.com and go to that website. So if you're trying to make a website and get it together through registration, getting the hosting account and have it all up in like an hour, well, it doesn't work that way. You have to wait a little bit of time. So if you're planning on making a website, it's a good idea to go and get your hosting account ahead of time, change DNS and then wait two days and then whatever site you upload will definitely be live to the world. And 48 hours is kind of a worst case scenario. It's usually set up a lot sooner than that and sometimes within a few hours, the DNS, even six hours, it'll take effect. So 48 hours isn't always 48 hours, but just to be on the safe side, they say it may take 48 hours and there's different reasons for it taking 48 hours. So in a moment, I'm going to show you how to log into cPanel and as I mentioned in the hosting video, cPanel is a necessary feature for your, for your hosting account. So always look and make sure that they have cPanel available and then you can log into cPanel and you can upload your website. And I'm going to explain how to do that in the next video. So I'll see you there in just a second.